day washer is not going to circulation, it could be that the impeller is stuck and is no longer able to move due to the back of the impeller binding up inside this seal. So the goal is to reach in with a special tool and move the impeller back and forth to free it up. To make the tool, you just take a fork and take the middle tongs and bend back a couple of times back and forth and the metal fatigue caused the tongue to break off. Then you repeat that with the other middle one. So out of the four, you're just bending the middle one back and forth a few times. What the tool does is it allows you to reach in from the front of the melee, which we'll show you in a minute, and be able to get into these grooves and move back and forth to get the impeller moving, which then breaks the friction seal and allows the circulation pump to work. So here is the motor and the motor housing for the circulation pump. And here is the impeller inside, and this is the special tool, which is just a fork with the two middle prongs bent back and broken out of, out of the way. This is a really good size to fit in and get this circulation pump unseized and moving. So we just fit it in and it naturally will go in to the edges of the impeller fins and we rock it back and forth and that breaks up the seized pump and will allow your Melee dishwasher to circulate again. It just takes a few times going back and forth side to side, a little bit up and down, and you can see that's moving the impeller. This is a Miele dishwasher. This is the incognito model. And this is the special tool that we use to free up the circulation pump when it binds. So first thing, <clears throat> we just pull up on the lower arm, turn the filter away from us so we can lift that off. And <clears throat> this area here, there's a slot, and that slot back in about maybe four inches is that circulation pump impeller. And all we're going to do is put our special tool in there, push it on in, and then once in, all we want to do is move the impeller a little bit back and forth so that we can free that up. <clears throat> So we're going to go to the right, we'll go to the left, back to the right, and left, just rocking it back and forth, and that's usually enough. Sometimes you can pour in a little bit of vegetable oil <coughs> as a lubricant to help that thing move. Going back and forth, and then you try it to see if the intake 
drain light has gone off and you've got the impeller freed up. If not, go back and try it again until you've got it freed up. <clears throat> you can tell though, in order to reach the impeller, oh, I had to go in there pretty far. Let's pull it out again so we get an idea. So, okay, we can see where my finger is. We're going to pull that out. So, went in pretty far in order to get to that impeller. Okay, good luck to you. Should work fine.